Hey, what's up everybody out there? Today here on Motherboards.org we have a very special guest. We have Alex Chang from over at MSI and he is their product rep. How's it going, Alex? Good. Yourself? Doing good, bro. So check it out. Today you brought over this brand new motherboard that you're supposed to like kick ass in the competition. And this is the new Z77M power board? Yes, it is. Wow. So what are, can you tell us some like grand facts about this motherboard and why the people out there are going to be like jumping for joy to see this hit the market? Well, this motherboard is actually very unique for MSI, first of all. If you take a look at it, it's got a very unique matte black construction. You know, the not only is the PCB matte black, but all the slots, the PCIe slots, memory slots, uh, even the buttons, they're all black. So it's a very blacked out, um, murdered out look, if you will, as far as the board look is concerned. It's got yellow accents. The yellow accents is not done by uh, accident. It's actually... For Based Bumblebee effect? Our, for Bumblebee effect, <laughs> yes, uh, depending on which one, you, what, what stuff you like. But uh, this is <laughs> specifically inspired by our... Uh, Lightning series of graphics cards, at least the newest generation of, of Lightning graphics cards with the um, uh, the the twin frozen design with the yellow accents. It was uh, inspired by really the best overclocking you know graphics cards you know in the world when it comes to the visual aspect of it. And uh, the board itself has got a, a very clean layout as far as the buttons are concerned, all the stuff on the side. You know everything's on the side. There's nothing in the way. And uh, but really the. The primary, the biggest selling feature of this board, you can't even see. Uh, the, every single board, after it's invisible. It, it's invisible. It's invisible uh, uh, because uh, because it's not something that you could clearly see. It's not you know. Can the cam can the cameraman see it because they like work with the extra sensorial type thing? They they probably could, but you know it, it's uh, it, we, I have to explain the process. Okay. Every every single board at the end of the, end of the assembly line basically has a Prime ninety five CPU burn in test or stress test uh, done. If you think about how components are manufactured, I mean, electronic stuff is manufactured, most of the stuff is, they do a power on test to see if it even, or did it, actually, sorry, let me take that back. They don't even do a power on test. No, they don't. So they, they do a spot check, you know, of like, you know, grounding, maybe they run power through the piece, uh, the ATX power plug, make sure that there's power for the different slots, and that's about it, that's, that's all they do. So for you guys that don't understand what you're saying, most motherboards, they make them in the manufacturer, they just check it for an electrical test. These guys actually put the motherboard onto a test bed, start it up, run it with Prime 95 for a day before shipping it out to you. So that must really help incur a low RMA count. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're, one of the thing, one of the key benefits immediate benefits is the fact that, you know, you, you, we make sure every boy actually runs out of the box, right? Literally but, uh, like, yeah, something like that, you know. But uh, but the other thing is, it's not just a regular um, default clock speed. We're actually using a 3770K running at a 4.6 gig overclock. So it's actually a fairly aggressive overclock uh, for when it comes to... So every single board is being overclocked and ran for 24 hours. Exactly, out. exactly. Okay. So, so pretty like, much you're saying that people can almost guarantee an easy 4.6 then. Exactly. I, I mean, you can do a 4.6 fairly easy with most... Hey, uh, generalization. With, with most CPUs, there's no guarantee when it comes to overclocking. There's no 100% guarantee, I should say. But uh, having said that, what we wanted to do with that test is ensure that every single board out of the box has as close to the... Uh, optimal performance that we designed this board, you know, for uh, in terms of overclocking and, and performance. Well, let's talk about some of the features that people can see because the d design layout of this is a lot different, especially some of the stuff over on this side. So, why don't you just like start off and go around and explain some of the great features about this new Z77 power board? All right, the optimal it, the layout really is optimized for performance and uh, whether it be overclocking or video card, you know, graphics gaming or whatnot. We have a six pin PCIe plug that's on this side of the board. We actually mounted on this side instead of the usual standard location, which is over here, because it's better for case mod, um, everything. Cable standard, management. Cable management, stuff like that, you know, and plus graphics cards end up over here power plug wise. Uh, right angle SATA connections and uh, USB 3.0. We have our LED postcode here, our voltage checkpoints. These are pretty standard all for all of the MSI uh, enthusiast boards. But a couple of new features. First of all, we have a BIOS switch here that allows you to switch between two BIOS chips on board in case we, you corrupt one of the BIOSes. So let me just angle that a little bit more so everybody can take a look here. Right here is what he's talking about. There's a switch on the board. There's two BIOS chips up above that and you can actually switch this. So when you switch on one side, it's blue, am I correct? Yes. And then green for the other one. Yes. All right, so that's very cool. And then there's another little button right down here below it, and that's to clear your CMOS? No, actually it's not. It's uh, go to BIOS. Go to BIOS, actually what it, what it does is that it's a new feature we've introduced where if you're, you could be in any system state, as long as the board is plugged in and the power is you know on, on the wall socket and stuff like that, 
the you push the button and the next time the board boots it doesn't matter if it's going from windows to a restart so or, you don't have to the delete or, button the f1 exactly button. exactly so, uh, one of the one of the main thing we, main reasons why for this is because if you have a uh, RAID zero configuration SSD when in Windows seven it boots really quick. I've seen it in less than ten seconds, right? And if your monitor is slow, you sometimes you don't even know when you don't even see speed. it. Yeah, you don't even know when the delete exactly. speed is. So if you're doing overclocking and you're trying to tweak the system, you know it's very helpful. But also the other thing is Windows eight. If you're running going to upgrade to Windows eight. Windows 8 from shutdown to uh, boot is less than five seconds. Ah, it's, okay. It's, it's insanely fast. So something like this, especially if you want to you know, tweak the settings and BIOS and whatnot, uh, it, it comes in really handy. Cool. And then all the other buttons are on the, on the, around the board. Uh, and this board features all of the uh, four pin um, system fan headers. So you, we actually will provide a software that allows you to optimize the, the fan speed in in Windows for the case fans. So you have you're able to adjust all the fan speeds yes. and everything just within, like, within the Windows environment. Just like uh, just like our Afterburner software, which allows you to adjust the fan speed for a graphics card. We have ah, the same software, okay. same type of software for the uh, the the motherboard um, the fan headers. I'm sure you guys out there give you your feedback on that. And uh, last thing is uh, the rear I/O is very you know simple and clean. We have a, a HDMI and a Display Port. What what happened to the, what happened what with the VGA ports gone? VGA port's still available. Woo! But you just celebrate. Uh, you just, you just. Uh, it's better better to use a Display Port anyways, uh, because a Display Port adapter you get essentially you can get multiple types of different types of outputs. You know from there. You know, whereas VGA you're only limited to a certain amount of resolution. For example. Well, as long as you have the Display Port on there, then I'm pretty cool because that gives you yeah. the option of running high resolution or anything exactly. you want off that. So as long as you've got that and you've got an HDMI port, I think you pretty much covered all the bases. So yeah. You can buy a five dollar cable. And then um, we still have our dis uh, PS2 uh, port. This is kind of important for people that are really into gaming. Old school? Old school, but, but there's, mechanical still, keyboards? there's still a lot of benefits on the mechanical keyboards, right? Yeah. USB still has limitations. And then lastly, the most uh, the, the three things of note, uh, you have your clear CMOS button here on the bottom here um, on the outside. So if you That's right to, here, folks. You gotta go see that. Here's the clear CMOS button. So if you wanted to uh, clear CMOS button, the, uh, the, uh, you, just, you, you could press that. And then also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi antenna is not shown here, but we also include a Wi-Fi antenna with this board. So this just unplugs and you have a high speed. Exactly. Now, what's the price of this when it comes to the market? The MSRP of this is two nineteen, and uh, it's it's a it's a you know very you know attractively priced board. Uh, you know, good for overclocking, good for your video gaming performance and stuff like that. Well, plus, I mean, you're kind of like you mean. Your military class three hardware. I mean, I know you got you're not really pushing that right now, but that's just guaranteeing that all the parts in the board are great. I'm sure there comes with a little piece of paper in there that says board certified. Yes, correct? yes. And, and and one of the things was uh, I didn't mention too much about that because that was, this was really the next evolution of the military class branding. Before we had the components certified, now we're actually doing. We can't certify the the board using a third party lab, but we're doing it in house. Certification, ah, okay. if you will. So we want to certify the fact that this is a performance-oriented board in-house, and, and it's also a Big Bang series. Yeah, yeah. It's what it's it's uh, because the Big Bang series is basically our uh, flagship product. Exactly. Right? If you guys don't know that, there has the Big Bang on it. It's you know going to be the highest end of motherboards. We took a look at some of their boards previously, and they all really kicked ass in many ways. So I'm sure this board's going to follow in those same features. Yep. So that's about it as far as the overview of the board is concerned. Well, right on. Well, hey, folks, we're supposed to get this board next week. When we get the board, we'll give you guys the full unboxing, the features review again, and we'll give you a full benchmark review showing you how fast this board is, and we'll do some overclocking. We'll get Alex back here in the house again. See you guys later here once again on motherboards.org.